Hey kids, Mr. Murray here for Mr. Murray's Mathland with another classic related rates question. Uh, this time we're on the old baseball diamond and for those of you that don't know it has the shape of a square each side being 90 feet long. Uh, a player running from second base to third base. So we'll put it right here, somewhere right here, kind of in the middle to give us a little space to work with. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's a person running. That's a perfect drawing. We don't need to say anything more. I always run with my arms like that. Good. <clears throat> so a person is running at a speed of 28 feet per second and is 30 feet from third base. So that's talking about a split second, a moment. At what rate is the player's distance from home plate changing? Okay, so the player is running in this direction, of course. And we're talking about this segment, the distance to third base being 30 feet, but only for a moment. So I don't want to label it as 30. And, you know, I, I like to reserve that for things that are fixed and constant. And we're talking about the distance from the player to home plate, the rate of change of that distance. So here's the player and here's home plate. So hopefully you can see we've got a right triangle here where this distance is changing, I'll call it x, and this, this distance is changing, y. Now dx dt, the rate of change of x is uh, given to you as this, uh, with one exception that he's running at a rate of 28 feet per second so x is getting smaller, you know, that distance to third is getting smaller, so that would be a negative rate of change. So dx dt is negative 28, <clears throat> and we're looking for what is dy dt at this moment when x is 30. So this actually turns out to be a fairly straightforward uh, Pythagorean theorem looking kind of problem, I think. But who knows, you never know. Once you get into it, it might, might surprise you. So x squared plus 9d squared is equal to y squared. That's how these three quantities are always related. And now when I differentiate that with respect to x, or excuse me, with respect to time, I get 2x dx dt. Derivative of that constant, that side of 90, is 0. That's not changing. And that equals 2y dy dt. So let's plug in what we've got here. Two, we're talking about the moment when x is 30. So 30 dx dt is negative 28 equals two times y times dy dt. Now dy dt is what I'm trying to solve for. So uh, the one thing I'm missing is y here. And again, we are talking about the moment when x is 30. So at that moment, if you you know, hit freeze, like you take a little snapshot. What is y at that same moment? So I can plug this, this value into there. So this is where I will think about this triangle where that side is uh, 30. And now I want this side of y at that split second. So I would be doing the Pythagorean theorem of 30 squared plus 90 squared equals y squared, which, you know, if you've got a calculator, is not a big deal. If you don't, those numbers might seem a little a little big. So remember, you can use the reduced triangle principle, if you like. 30 and 90 are both divisible by 30. So if I reduce them, divide by 30, this side is 3. 30 divided by 30 is 1. I can do the Pythagorean theorem with 1 and 3. 1 squared plus 3 squared equals it's not y, but it's the reduced version of y. So you'll get 1 plus 9, that's 10. You take the square root, and you get what y would be on that reduced triangle. So now I'll just convert back. So the real y I'm looking for is uh, I divided everything by 30, so I'll multiply. This is 30 root 10. So that's what y is at that moment. And that means I can plug that in here now. I have all the missing quantities and simplify. Now, in, in even right now, I mean, if you divide everything by to solve 
for dy dt and you divide by 2 times 30 root 10 or if you make that 60 root 10 you're gonna see a lot of stuff cancels out here so kinda of nice 2 cancels 30 cancels you're left with negative 28 over root 10 and we'll rationalize that by multiplying top and bottom by root 10 and you'll get negative 28 root 10 over 10 which then further reduces to negative 14 root 10 over 5. That's what dy dt is. And so if we were going to write a sentence about this we would say the distance, that's what we were describing, the distance from the of the player to home plate, the distance is decreasing because it's a negative rate of change at a rate of 14 root 10 over 5. No need to write the negative because that's what the word decreasing implies there. At a rate of uh, 14 root 10 over 5 and our units are feet per second in this problem. And obviously if you were on the AP and you had a calculator, you could definitely use a decimal uh, equivalent of that as long as you're accurate to three places. Okay kids, there's another one in the books. Hopefully you're getting the hang of these related rates. And as always, hang in there and if you got any questions, just ask.